If you like this video, click on that subscribe button and be notified of more great ideas. You're looking at a gauge block holder that I put together so that I could get an accurate inside dimension uh, to set up something like this indicator. Uh, it itself is not all that accurate because it's not precision ground. I don't have the capability of doing that. This is just a piece of aluminum, it's quarter inch thick, about four and a half inches long and two inches wide. And these two pieces are quarter by quarter. And the one piece is screwed to this. I put three holes in it to allow me to move this around. This has a little peg on the bottom here and a screw here. And if I want to put it in this one here, I can add this little block onto it. It's got a cutout made here and a hole here that slides onto the end of there. Like so. So that I can now wind that in and out. So I take my other quarter by quarter bar, put it in here, and then I take my gauge block or gauge block buildup. This is a one inch block that I've got here and put it right in there. And what happens when you go to tighten up on this is it, you can watch it tilt slightly forward as it pushes in that direction. And that not only pushes in that direction but it also pushes the gauge block down against this bottom surface. If I had a larger buildup I could move this whole block back to the next hole and do the same thing. Now this thing swivels so it just automatically lines up to this edge of the gauge block. It's not like these two arms can be crooked. Now once I've done that, now this is not really the right size for this dial indicator, you can put your dial indicator in and move it back and forth between these two pieces. Now as I said before, this is not precision. Nothing is precision ground, but I found I get with in about a thou with this particular design and using these materials. Now we're going to, just for the fun of it, check the accuracy of this to our digital caliper. And these digital calipers aren't really that wonderful either. We've got a half inch gauge block here. I'm going to measure that with the digital caliper. And we're, yeah, that's pretty good, 0.500. And we'll check across here, we should, this is a one inch block, so we should have a one inch reading on here. Uh, a little difficult to get. Yeah. 0.9995. If you can see that or not, but that's pretty darn close for something that's not precision ground. So it might be worthwhile making one if you want to set up something like this.